Erickson. And I'm Chris Reed. And this is the Marian Catholic News. For the last week of November, 2023. Hello Spartans. I hope you all had an amazing break. Let's give it our all as there's less than 20 days till the semester is over. Once again, the Queen and the Queen of Hearts 50-50 raffle is still missing. Her value is placed at $73,700. There's still a chance to find her, so stop by Rudy's at Bellagio on Homewood and purchase a ticket for $5. Who knows? The next winner could be you. Hey seniors, have you made your federal student aid ID yet? Students and parents must create an account electronically to access financial aid information. Meet with counselors Mr. O'Brien and Mr. Waterwald to learn more. Our Marian Catholic Theater will be presenting the musical of The Little Shop of Horrors. Our students will be performing December 8th through the 10th. Purchase tickets now through QR codes around the school or through the Marian website. We're hearing rumblings that Audrey too is getting very, very hungry. Do you like nature? Does volunteering interest you? Well, then Generation Green is a club for you. Generation Green is collecting bottle caps for an upcoming project. Turn the caps into the bottle cap bears in your Emmaus. Generation Green also has a clothing collection box at the Ashland parking lot taking in gently worn clothes. You can either drop the clothes off at the tree machine box or to Mr. Zaranti in room 414. Don't forget to listen to announcements or check Schoology posts for upcoming meeting dates. And now let's head over to weather and sports. Thanks Peyton. Did everyone enjoy an early taste of winter this weekend? Well, the weather is steadily increasing as the temperatures will range between the high 20s to the mid 40s. The warmest temperature we'll achieve is Sunday with a high of 46. The coldest is today with a low of 27. Luckily, there will be mostly sunny skies all week other than a rainy Thursday and Friday. Enjoy the fresh air Spartans before the snowy weather hits again. Now over to Sierra with sports. In Spartan news, our men's basketball team beat Hillcrest 81-65 to to finish third in the Chicago Heights Classic, and our women's basketball team finished second in the IC invite, losing 49-56 to in a stunner to DePaul Prep. Back to the men's side, as their next home game will be against Carmel Catholic this Friday night. Let's get out to the game, Spartans. Our turnout for the HF game last week was not very great. Now let's head over to Spartan Pop to catch all of our pop culture news. Thanks, Sarah. I know I'm supposed to remain professional, but the 2023 Billboard Hot 100 end of the year chart is out, and I'm so excited to see who topped the charts and... Last Night by Morgan Wall... A country song? Are you serious? I mean, congratulations to all those who have accomplished this enormous feat, with artists like SZA, Ice Spice, and Taylor Swift dominating this year, along with more welcome entries like South Korean artist Jungkook and The Weeknd. On another note, Thanksgiving and a possible new engagement between Adele and Rich Paul. But first, Turkey Day. Celebrities young and old are shown in many pictures, showing off family we haven't seen before, or just giving us a glimpse into their own simple lives, whether that be keeping up with the chaos of the Kardashians or getting to see what's on the plate of Olivia Rodrigo. Now, Adele. At the Lakers game on Wednesday, Adele was spotted accidentally exposing an engage engagement ring while next to her 41-year-old partner, Rich Paul. And the media is in a whirl. Is this just publicity or is this actually an upcoming marriage? Only time will tell. Well, that's all for pop culture. Peyton, <laughs> let's go to Generation Green and donate some clothes. We can donate these. These are yeah. perfect. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, Come let's on. go right let's now. Go. Oh, but first, we gotta do this. Yeah. Right. <laughs> And I'm Peyton Erickson. And I'm Chris Reed. And this has been the Marian Catholic News. For the last week of November, 2023.